It's the Half Hour Wasted and Legion of Dudes Podcasts. This is Jordan from Jersey with the Legion of Dudes and Walking Dead TV Podcast, which is currently the number one Walking Dead podcast on iTunes. This is what I thought of the comics I read the week of November 3rd, 2010. So let's start out with a real fun one, Taskmaster, issue number three of four. Um, and as it says at the top, the town that was Hitler. This is not a case of a comic advertising something it doesn't deliver. In fact, the cover wrote a check that the issue very much did cash. This is probably the most <laughs> crazy comic I've read this year. And I'm saying that as an awesome good thing. This comic, pick it up. Um, I don't even care if you've never read Taskmaster before. You have no, no idea who the character is. If you like zany comics that also have a heart and are written really well check it out. Um, in this issue, we dive back into some old school Marvel continuity, I think. They make it seem like they're tying it into old issues and um, take you to a town populated entirely by Hitlers. For reals. And it's pretty awesome. It's pretty disturbing. It's hilarious. And uh, I loved it. So check it out. Then we have Avengers Academy, issue number six, in which we look at Reptil or Reptile. I don't really know. I'm going to guess it's Reptile. Um, he's the only one of the Avengers Academy Avengers who existed before this book. He was introduced in Avengers The Initiative, an awesome read, and um, he continues his story here. He's pretty much the only one of the students who doesn't... He doesn't seem like he could really become a villain. He actively wants to get away from that, but he doesn't know how to tell his instructors, hey, we are all on to you. We all know that we are at risk. Because if he tells them, he'll lose his position as team leader and as an Avenger, and he just doesn't want to risk that. So this issue, we follow him and his struggle with exactly that problem as he deals with the rest of the team. And though it may seem cliche, the moral of the story definitely is, be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. And he kind of learns that the hard way in this issue. Definitely check it out. Um, this wasn't my favorite issue of the six so far, but they've all been very good. So, I mean, it's still worth your money for sure. Next up, we have a last minute buy for me. And that's Iron Man Thor by Abnett Landing, issue number one of four. How last minute was it? Uh, I went back the next day to pick it up because I forgot it came out. Look, I've probably said it on here before. I don't really care about Thor and Iron Man. Nothing against them. I don't dislike the characters. Um... I just don't really care. I'm interested in the movies. I like the Iron Man movies better than the Spider-Man movies, and I love Spider-Man. Um, I'm very much jazzed for Thor because it looks awesome. Um, but just like I don't care for Superman, I don't care for Thor. It's the same problem. that How do you make a character like that interesting? It's very hard to do and very rarely done. So good stories with those characters, certainly I'll read them, I'll enjoy them, I'll promote them. But in general, I don't care. And Iron Man... I don't know why I'm not so big on Iron Man, because I actually really love the suit. I love the character, you know, of Tony Stark. There's something about it, I don't really read a lot of his books. But the reason I picked this one up the next day was because of that right there. Abnett and Lanning. Uh, DNA, Dan Abnett and Andy Lanning, are the guys who do Marvel's cosmic stuff. They wrote Guardians of the Galaxy until that came to its recent, looks like, end, unfortunately. They're writing the Thanos Imperative right now. They wrote Nova. Two of my favorite writers in comics. I will follow them anywhere in comics. Not necessarily off a bridge. That'd be a bad decision. They, they might write the end really well. Who knows? But really good writers. I didn't love this issue, but I trust them enough to continue on to the end. It was a good setup issue. Um, you have some big-time Marvel characters showing up in this book doing some major damage. And yes, it's definitely to promote the upcoming Thor movie and get people jazzed about Thor. But um, if it's a good story, I don't care. And so far, it's good. It's not grabbing me. But it's enough for me to come back for the next three issues. So check out Iron Man and Thor if you have any interest whatsoever or just like really good writing. And we've got one more comic left but before we get to that. And it's it's a good one. It's a good one. Stick around. Uh, don't forget to check out HHWLOD.com for the Half Hour Wasted and Legion of Dudes podcast. Half Hour Wasted comes out on Monday. Legion of Dudes comes out on Thursday. Sometimes we even give you bonus episodes like our Iron Man 2 commentary. Just came out. Check it out. It's kind of awesome. I had fun doing it anyway. Also, like I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, the Walking Dead TV podcast, which you can find at walkingdeadtv.com or follow on Twitter at WDTV uh, podcast, is the number one, as far as I can tell, podcast about The Walking Dead on iTunes right now. If you go to the podcast page, look at New and Notable, we're like number 31 on the list, I think. Um, we loved the first episode. We're super jazzed about episode number two on Sunday. Check it out on AMC. Um, Subscribe to the podcast. Help us along. We'd love to get on the actual iTunes front page. 
that only do podcasts. We'd like to get such high numbers that it pushes podcasts onto the front page. How cool would that be? But check that out. Check out forumforgeeks.com for us and the entire Walking Dead podcast network and like 30 podcasts now. I think there's about 30 shows. All different stuff. There's five about The Walking Dead and a whole bunch of others about any type of geek uh, topic you could imagine or be interested in or some that I'm not even interested in, but I know you might be. So check out forumforgeeks.com, hhwlod.com, walkingdeadtv.com, at WDTV Podcast, at LOD Tweet, at Jordan FRM Jersey. And let's get to our last book because I loved it. The Amazing Spider-Man, issue 647. Now, before I get into this book, let's just say... The last two months have been rough for Spider-Man. Let's just, let's call a spade a spade. He had one moment in time, which, let's just leave it behind us. We had Origin of the Species, which had some bright spots, but in general, I don't care. Um, this is the last issue of the brand new day era that started with one more day and that whole thing. And don't get me wrong, there's been tons of good comics in that span of comics, in that brand new day era. But it's nice to put that behind us, and this will be the last issue of that before we go into Spider-Man Big Time, which will have, um, I think it's bi bi-weekly, or bi-monthly, two issues a month. Let's just do it that way, because it's easier. And uh, instead of three times a month, and it's going to have one standard writer, uh, I believe it's Fred Van Lente, to have to double check, and a couple different artists, three I think, so a few. I like all three artists, you're going to have to check them out uh, later on, you can check them out online. Three artists that I really like, I'm excited to see them about Spider-Man. But so this issue, it kind of just wraps up all the storylines from the last, it's about been two years, which is kind of crazy. Um, and it wraps up all in a really cool way. I don't think there's a single story in this book, and there's like one main story in five or six, maybe mini stories. I don't think there's a single one I didn't like. Um, they are all awesome in their own way. The first main story takes place at a Halloween party. It's also Harry Osborn's going away party. Him and his new son, Stanley, uh, who have a very, has a very fun costume. Um, they're going away and they're using Halloween as a time to say goodbye to everybody. There's a lot of really fun costumes, including one that the Half Hour Wasted guys will love, The Wizard. He's a real character. Check it out. Um, and a lot of other really cool, fun stuff. You wrap up the spider tracer killer storyline that was kind of wrapped up before, but they bring back Vin Gonzalez and kind of wrap up his story, or at least uh, put a comma on it. <laughs> you will know once you read the story. Um, Spider-Man and Carly Cooper, and it's really, it's just a really nice Spider-Man story. Also, gotta love Mary Jane's costume. I'll leave it at that. Then we have a story about Spider-Man and J. Jonah Jameson as mayor of New York City. Kind of puts a nice cap on that storyline. I don't know that he'll continue to be mayor as we go into big time or the next election cycle or whatever, but it's still cool to touch on that one last time in Brand New Day. Then Joe Kelly and Namora team up to tell a story about Peter's friend, Nora. Um, if those two names don't mean anything to you, maybe this art will. Uh, it's the same team that did I Kill Giants, which is a really... Uh, Really deep and interesting book uh, you might want to check out. It's about, I don't even want to tell you what it's about. It's about a young girl dealing with some issues in her life and um, kind of figuring out what those issues are as part of the joy of reading the comics. So check out I Kill Giants. It's a nice reunion from them as uh, Spider-Man kind of gives her a tour around the city for her last day there, or is it her last day? Then we have a nice story about Flash Thompson. Um, he had a really great issue. It's probably about a year and a half ago kind of just telling you what had happened to him since the last time we had seen him. He had spent some time in uh, Iraq and or Afghanistan, I forget, and he forgets. He loses the, the use of his legs. Uh, it's kind of a nice story where he gets to interact with Spider-Man. Um, it's not exactly new territory. It's a lot of the same stuff that was touched on in the last couple issues with him, but it's still, like I said, with the J. Jonah Jameson story, it puts a nice cap on the relationship for the era. And then finally, before a cover gallery, we have a story called You Again, which focuses on a character who's apparently been in the background since the beginning of Brand New Day. She's only actually been in, I think, one panel from Brand New Day, but they've weaved her in and out of the story. Uh, and it's kind of fun. It's kind of forgettable. It's maybe my least favorite of the of the bunch but it's a nice little story and has some fun jokes in it. And it also acts as a nice uh, overview of the entire Brand New Day storyline. Well, I'm running out of time. I've been uh, Jordan from Jersey with Legion of Dudes and Walking Dead TV Podcast. I gave you all the links before. Check them out. Follow me on Twitter at JordanFRMJersey. Have a good week. It's the Half Hour Wasted and Legion of Dudes Podcasts.